Hi, I'm Nadi Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an extension for Game Maker, so you can access all the functions in your smart contract that you deploy on the net on the blockchain. Right. So without any further ado, let's begin. You can see here. First of all, what we need to do is this web3.min.js because we want to use all of these function that is in this library to call those functions, right? And we need ABI file. We need the address of our contract that we deploy. It give us an address right and after that the link or rpc server that you get from the site that you deploy your contract in it and after that we create or a smart con we connect to our smart contract and after that we can um, call the get character and add character okay so now let's just convert this to an extension, right? So for that, let's just open up the game maker. You remember in the beginning of this video series about NFT game, I did talk about how you can create extension for game maker. Just watch that. After that, I will create an extension from the beginning in here. But if you watch that video, you will learn a lot. So of game maker language, I want to call it NFT or whatever, right? So I want to save it on this folder. So let's just create that. First thing to do, let's just go to extension, right click on it and create an extension in here again i want to call it nft or whatever you want to call it it will be okay deselect everything but the html file and in here add a js placeholder and no we have that placeholder right click on your nft extension in here open it in explorer and you can see it created the .js file for you so just open it in visual studio code there is nothing in it at default so first thing to do we should add this library to our js file for our game maker right so for doing that in here we have our web3.min.js and for doing that we can just go here in our extension add a file and in here choose our library that we want to add it right this web3.min.js click on it hit open and it will be added in here right so now we can access all of those functions right so again the first step is done all of this is done okay so the next step in here let's just create a function function i want to say get character or whatever you want to call it doesn't matter and in here we want to add a parameter in here right i want to call it index because whoever want to use this function and this extension should tell which character it want to get right so first thing to do in this character you can see in here in the last video we did talk about this a lot first of all we need this dot abi file so let's just copy it from there to at the end like this Control c to copy it and paste it in here and no in our function in here we have the abi file okay so what next next we need this a smart contract address so let's just copy it we need these as well and of course we need these as well okay so let's just copy everything and put it in here okay so we have the address we create a web3 instance from this web3 function after that we connect to our test net or our actual net with this abi and the address of our a smart contract and after that we can call the method that we want for for example this get character but what we want to change is this index right we don't want to hard code it we want to use whatever that pass from game maker this index variable in here so with that we can access whatever we want whatever character we want and we can get it but for now let's just leave it at console.log right so no everything is okay in here let's just add this function to our extension copy its name Control c and go to our extension in here double click on this nft.js and in here add that function the name and the external name that should be the same as the one that we uh, declare in here we create in here next some help i want to say index okay the index of the player that you the character that you want to get the return type we don't want to retain anything because we want to use social for that right and there is one input and that is a double right so that is all that you need to do so for testing that first of all before testing that just deselect everything but the html file like this so no let's just save and create an object in here for testing i want to call it obg test for now and let's just add it to our room so we don't forget because it should be added to our room right so after that it is added no in the create function let's just call that function that we create get 
character and we want to get character number zero right and we show it in console.log right with that we will show it. so everything is set up and everything is okay now let's just go here and change it to html5 because we want to compile it for html5 right so now let's just run it and our game is running let's just go here to more tools developer tools in here in console you can see in this array we get the data correctly the number zero was 20 0 10 the hit point was one id zero level 20 and all of that and if you remember from last video character number zero all the data was 50 but the id that is automatically set so let's just save this and run this again for character number one to see if we get it correctly or not go to developer tools and this in this array of six you can see now we get the character number one that the hit point is 15 level 50 price 50 the one that we added in last video so let's just add another one in here um you remember we use this address let's just again copy it from here this address is important for us to connect to that right so copy it and paste it at this address okay and click on add address let's just first delete this and after that click on add address and now we have access to that smart contract in this remix ide let's just add another character in here for example this time 60 for everything okay and transact and now our character is added and now if we get the character number two it will give us that so let's just test it in our game maker as well we need character number two let's just save it and run our game to see if we get that data correctly or not so now let's just go to more tool developer tool in here in this array six in here no we you can see that we get that correct so we get the character correctly and in the next video i will show you how you can add character with game maker you shouldn't do it with game maker but of course you can create another game and another extension for management of all of these functions that is just for admin of this smart contract the owner of this smart contract so nobody else should be able to call or add character just you should be able so we can create another game another game maker project with its extension and with that we can add characters and all of that and with the main game that we publish they can buy those characters and for buying those characters we need a standard that is erc721 and i will show you how you can use that as standard in future videos please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching 